Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are all doing fine. We have learned about the series combination of cells in the previous video. In this video, we will find out what happens to the current and voltage when electric cells are connected in parallel. Here I have taken three electric cells. I have connected them in parallel. When I say parallel connection, it means all the positive terminals are connected to a common point. Similarly, all the negative terminals are connected to a common point. Here this free terminal acts as the positive terminal of the battery and this acts as the negative terminal of the battery. When our cells are combined, it forms a battery. You remember that. Now I will measure the EMF supplied by this battery with the help of a, a, a multimeter. Now before going ahead, I will set the, the multimeter to read the EMF. EMF means the potential difference across two points of a battery or cell when the circuit is open. I will place a, a red probe to this end and a black probe to this end. It reads the EMF which is nothing but 1.68 volt. Now, uh, I will measure the current. To measure the current, I have to connect this in a series with the, the battery. Uh, while measuring the EMF, we connect the, the um, uh, multimeter parallel to the battery, this manner. While measuring the current, we connect the multimeter in series. First, I will set the multimeter to read the current. Now, I will include a load. I will connect the anode of this LED to the positive terminal of this battery. And the cathode of this LED is a left as such that I am going to connect to the red probe and I will connect the black probe to the negative terminal of the battery. When I do so, you may observe the LED glow and the multimeter reads the current. It is around 28.6 microampere. So this uh, battery provides 28.5 microampere current, approximately 28 microampere current. Now I will measure the voltage that is uh, the EMF and the current supplied by individual cells. First I will measure the voltage supplied by individual cell. For that, I will desolder this uh, these electric cells with the help of soldering iron. I touch it here. The uh, has come off. I do the same thing to this uh, end as well. this and I will connect this end to the negative terminal of this uh, cell. Now I'll remove these two cells as well. Now I have separated these three cells. Now I check the voltage or the EMF 
with the help of multimeter. First, I'll check the uh, of this uh, cell. It is 1.68. Our second one. I'll remove the insulation. Now, it is uh, also 1.68 volt. I'll go for the third one. This is again 1.68 volt. This shows that all of them provide the same EMF when they are connected in the parallel. They provide the, the same EMF. So there is no change in the EMF when they are connected in parallel combinations. Now I will check the individual current supplied by these cells. Now I will measure the current supplied by these cells individually. For that, I will connect the this LED in series with them. Before that, I will set this to read the current. The LED glows. And multimeter reads a 28 microampere of current, which is flowing through this LED. I'll check the current supplied by this cell. It also read 28 microampere. Now I will check the current supplied by the last cell. It also provides current more or less similar to other cells. Here, uh, the current supplied by this one is 29.6 microampere. This uh, shows that when electric cells are taken in parallel combination, they provide the same voltage. And the current is also same. I hope uh, this video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.